Good morning everybody and welcome back. Today it's 4.15 a.m. It was extremely hard to get up this morning. I had at least 100 excuses as to why I did not want to get out of that bed. It's the perfect temperature for sleeping. I was extremely comfortable. So was Allie. But we're up. We're at them. We've got a special adventure today. We wanted to take a second to say thanks to LL Bean for sponsoring this adventure. We're gonna talk more about that in a little bit, but first, we've got an appointment to catch. So we've been hiking for about an hour or so and we took a wrong turn. So we ended up in some farmland, we're fenced off, but I was able to get a look at the trail and see where we need to go. We're not gonna stop here, we're gonna head to the summit. Even though the sun has already started coming up, we might not catch the first glimpse of sunlight from the summit, we're gonna get up there and enjoy it. We're on the final push at the end of the trail. We're about to summit. It's all been worth it thus far. Well guys, we made it to the top. This is the tip. I cannot believe we made it up here. I did not want to get out of bed at all this morning, but this view is incredible. It's so worth it. We're at the top of La India Dormida, the sleeping Indian, and it's absolutely breathtaking. You can see the clouds are kind of starting to move in over here. Those clouds are creeping over the mountain. As you can see, all these clouds that have settled in the valley when we woke up, you couldn't see very far at all and I was like, man, there's so much fog. I don't know if this is worth it. Yeah. It's going to be wet. It's going to be cold. No excuses. We did it. And we made it in thanks to L.L. Bean. L.L. Bean believes that the more time you spend outside together, the better. That's why they design products that make it easier to experience all the outdoors has to offer, no matter what the season. And we counted on L.L. Bean to keep us warm and keep us dry up here on the mountaintop, and they didn't fail us. They've got over a hundred years of experience in the outdoor industry. They are the top dog. They got me this 850 filled down jacket, and they got Allie this mountain classic jacket. It's a super awesome ultralight jacket, and you get 15% more down for added warmth. And this jacket has Downtex PFC free water repellent down, which stays dry 50% longer than original Downtech. Honestly, I'm super glad that Ella Bean sent me this jacket for this hike because it's not heavy and it actually kept me super warm and kept me dry. I'm wearing L.L. Bean's Mountain Classic Down Collection jacket, which is actually super lightweight, but a little bit warmer than Trent's jacket. So I tend to run pretty cold. This jacket is perfect for me because it keeps me warm without being bulky and super heavy on this hike. It's got innovative down tech down that stays dry 90% longer than standard down and it's packed with 650 fill power down for lightweight warmth. And it's pretty much the best value you'll find on a rugged down tech jacket. Thanks again to LL Bean for sponsoring this adventure. If you guys want to check out LL Bean, www.llbean.com is their website. There's a link in the description where you guys can go to shop all the best cold weather gear, boots, jackets, coats, they got it all. We're so happy we made it up to the summit for sunrise. It's been an amazing hike, but our day is just beginning. We have so much planned for today, but first we gotta hike out of here. Let's get going. You know, I'd actually say it's really ironic that we put the theme of this video to be no excuses because as we got up into that farmland and we couldn't find the trail up to the top of the mountain before the sun started coming up, 
I was scared. Crazy noises coming from the jungle. We're out here alone. I didn't bring a machete. I didn't bring anything to defend us. But perseverance always pays off. We sat there on the trail at the end of the trail and I thought maybe we should just go back. Maybe we shouldn't summit. Maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe it's not worth it. No excuses. We pushed forward, we persevered, we got to the top and it was so worth it. Well, we made it back to the bike. The bike and the helmets are safe and sound. That was an awesome hike. Now the temperature is starting to climb. It was cold this morning and we are shedding our layers. It's heating up. Let's head back to the van. See you guys there. We're back in the van, safe and sound. Kind of a couple sketchy sections on that hike, but we made it back. We're exhausted. I, I, I always think that this is gonna get easier. Waking up at 4 a.m. sounds great the night before then you do it and it was definitely worth it, but I'm just pooped, so we're gonna have some more coffee because we need something to drink with our new sourdough bread. Look at this loaf. This loaf is just lovely. That's Look at these. a good crumb. The crumb is excellent. Light and airy with lots of air pockets. Can you see that? It's a pretty decent crumb. You know what's gonna go really good with this? Is a little bit of creamed honey. Mmm. Where is it, in here? Mm -hmm. If you guys want to join the sourdough squad, there's been tons of people on Instagram that have been showing us the starters that they made and the loaves that they made. If you guys want to know how, we put instructions in our cookbook. You can check it out up here. This is delicious. Try it. You do good. That's a pretty darn good loaf. Light, airy, and full of flavor. I could have some more of that. <laughs> Well, in true Trenton Alley fashion, we don't like to stay in one place too long. So we are actually moving on from this parking spot that we have that's nice and safe and secure at our follower Zach's house. We ran into a guy named Chuck. He lives here in town. We ran into him yesterday. He lives just down the street. So we're actually gonna head over to his house. He runs a YouTube channel. He's like an ex-army ranger. We're super excited to hang out with him, spend a little bit of time. And I guess he has some unusual pets that we're gonna go check out as well. Oh, hello, what's your name? Who are you? You're a big boy. Hi. Oh, Frank is so jealous. Hey, Frank. Hello. Hey, yeah. how's it going? Yeah. Great, well thanks for being here. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, you want to go see the monkeys? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> monkeys. I'll, I'll just caution you not to get too close okay. to the cage because they're very uh, territorial. Okay. Uh, they're very... Uh, loyal to their troop okay you're not part of their troop okay <laughs> so they like me but they'll try to rip your face off <laughs> so that's missy she is hi uh, about hi. five years old okay and they're both rescues okay uh mona is about 10 years old she's 10 you said yeah she's about 10 years old they live to be 40 years old wow yeah so we're gonna have her pretty much forever yeah she was kind of freaking out and she was attacking everybody and biting us and biting my kids and everything and i finally was like this monkey's gonna have to go to the zoo if we can't figure something out mm -hmm. and so yeah. my wife believe it or not finds the only actual monkey trainer in the world i think <laughs> like like that's his job <laughs> he lives in hollywood california if you've ever seen a monkey in a movie he's the one that trained it. oh wow and she hired that guy okay. to come down here for a week and train her how to train the monkey mm -hmm. so he came down and, and kind of helped us understand the monkey mindset yeah. and he said what you really need to do is get another monkey huh. well it's not legal to buy monkeys or sell monkeys in panama mm -hmm. or go out and capture them out of the jungle yeah. or anything yeah um and so we were like yeah that's probably not going to happen so we just prayed about it and mm -hmm. lo and behold i have a friend who's an embedi indian that, that lives out in the darien and we went to see him one day and they had this baby monkey tied to a post that he said, yeah, it's, it's an orphan that fell out of a tree. And I was like, oh man, I've got the perfect. Long story short, we ended up, we were able to get her. And then uh, when we go to bed, one of them will come and, and sleep with us like, like a cat or yeah. whatever. And yeah. just snuggle right up. They're very cuddly. Now we're introducing Frank to the monkeys. 
What do you think, Frank? That's a monkey. There's two monkeys. What is that, Frank? They don't like oh. that. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Let's go. So Chuck and his family have been living here for a few years and they're actually showing us around the area. Him and his daughter Amy are taking us up to their friend Sebastian's house who lives at a beautiful farm. But this is the way to get into his house. Let's go. Follow me. Okay. I'm being protected, bye, bye. huh? Bye, bye. Huh? Estos son bye. amigos míos you, de los Estados Unidos. Trent. 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 Sebastian. Sebastian. Trent y Ali. Ah, Amy. <laughs> so beautiful. It's beautiful here. Wow. Yeah. I love it. We're about to go explore Sebastian's farm. There's butterflies everywhere. It's Get it, Allie. Thank you. Tell me you're scared. He basically took a big chunk of wood that was infested with termites and then he broke up the wood and threw it into the water and that scattered all the termites on the surface. And now you can see all the little minnows are eating the termites. And this is part of Sebastian's farm and then he actually harvests these minnows and then they eat them. His farm is totally self-sufficient. He grows everything himself. He uses a hoe and a machete. He clears all the land, he plants all the vegetables, all the fruit, harvests everything. His wife cooks it all in their wood-burning stove. It's a really simple life. He gets clean drinking water from the mountainside that's completely gravity-fed. He doesn't he didn't even have electricity until last year, but this entire farm sustains his whole family and he's one happy guy. It's really refreshing to see someone so happy with what we would consider to be so little. Whereas yeah. in his mind, he's got a lot. He's got a happy, loving family and this beautiful farm that they all live on. And this guy smiles more than most people I know. He's super happy. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Sebastian's grandson, Jorge, is actually swimming in their little creek on the side of the mountain here. This is where they bathe, this is where they come to play. Jorge is playing with one of his own toys. It's a soda bottle filled with sand. They throw it in the water, then they go find it. They don't have Xbox, they don't have TV. They're super happy, they're super connected with nature. I think it makes you a more creative, imaginative, playful person to have to create your own fun, you know? He's proof of that. Gracias, muy bonita, gracias. <laughs> your own personal Panama bouquet. It really is, this is awesome. Sebastian was just telling us about his house and this little shelter right here was actually Sebastian's father's house. His family has owned this property for ages and ages. And he said that under this shelter right here is where he was born. That's insane. This day just keeps getting better and better. We had an amazing time at Sebastian's farm and now we're back at Chuck's house we're hanging out with Connie, his wife, his daughter Amy. They're cooking us dinner and we're able to watch the sunset from their beautiful roof. I don't think it gets any better than this. <laughs> cheers guys. To, to new friends in high places. Oh, <laughs> <cheers>. <laughs> What an adventure filled, fun day with new friends. Dude, Chuck and Connie are awesome. Chuck and Connie are awesome and Sebastian's flower bouquet is awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is super I cool. I always want flowers, you know, and I always try to give you hints. Yeah, I got but... those for you today through Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we had an awesome dinner with Chuck and Connie. They made a delicious feast for us. I can't complain, man. We are living the life. We're living the life and it's really been a day filled with no excuses. We've done everything we possibly could to make this day amazing. And it really has turned out that way. 
And since we've been going since 4 a.m., it is now 8.30. I feel like a grandpa, but I am ready for bed. <laughs> you feel like a grandpa anyway. <laughs> I am a grandpa. <laughs> we wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thanks again to LL Bean for sponsoring this episode. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll talk to you soon, guys. Adios. Good night. See you on the next one.